have a big show and tell set up for you guys today. Come here. I'll stay next to Danny. This is fine. You guys can just kind of get in a group so you can listen to Dean. Okay. I don't know how many of you guys have gone on long trips and seen the big tractor trailers as they drive down the road, but you're about to see probably one of the biggest, the biggest, and some of the most modern equipment that's out on the road today. Okay. Uh, we have satellite and computers in the truck. We have special trailers made to haul the special products that we haul. And you'll go inside the cab, you'll see how the drivers live as they drive cross country. And uh, I also have a couple of surprises for you guys as well. Okay, so if you guys are really good, we got some neat surprises for you. And uh, just follow me and I'm gonna take you around the whole truck and show you what everything is for and what it does. So now when you go down the road, you'll be able to appreciate a truck more, okay? Uh, this is my company. I started it with my father and brothers uh, maybe 15 years ago. And now we've built it up into a big company. So you can see that if you do good in school, and if you like what you do, you can be very successful at it. Okay, so why don't we just take a nice little stroll around the truck. All step back this way, and then we can all look at the big truck on the side. Okay, our trucks run coast to coast every week. We have trucks that leave every day from Los Angeles and go to Chicago or New York or Boston or all the way down to Florida. So we go to every state except for Alaska and Hawaii. Okay, when they build a road to Hawaii, maybe we can go to Hawaii. But right now, we go to every state. We deliver in home to everybody's house from El Segundo all the way to Portland, Maine. Uh, some of the most expensive furniture that's made in the country. And we do a lot of fine antiques. We do a lot of artwork. So it's a little neat thing that we deliver so we have to be really good at what we do that's why when we pull up to someone's house with a nice pretty truck like this they think right away it's a very professional out outfit that's hauling their goods and they know their their goods are in in good care so as you can see this is the biggest trailer made we call this big bertha we have names for all our trucks but we call this trailer big bertha because it's so big Actually, most trailers, when you go down the road, are this high, and they're only this tall inside. Where this trailer was specially made to go way down to the ground, so when our drivers deliver furniture, they have just a small step to step into the truck and then carry the pieces into somebody's house. Uh, I'll take you inside and show you all the special things that are inside the trailer. Uh, what do you guys think of the paint job, by the way? Good. Pretty cool, huh? We got lightning bolts, we have cool little graphics. Uh, this is, uh, you can see some of the tires come in different sizes. Uh, for trailer tires, they're usually a little bit smaller. This way we can have uh, more room inside to load things. And uh, this happens to be a very special, yes. It looks bigger when you're closer. I know, aren't they big? Wait till we go inside. We're gonna all seem like shrimps. Uh, so these, this suspension is very special. This is probably one of the only few of the trailers in the country that has this suspension. It's a test product. So you're seeing something very new here. Yes. Question. Oh, good. thank you very much. My brother in New York designed it. Oh, very nice. Yes. Why don't you guys say your names so I get try to get some of your names? Oh, oh, no, when, when, I call, when I call on your question. Logan? Okay. What's your question, Logan? Okay. You guys behave yourself. I'll give you the name. Just say your name. Susan? Tina? Sheila. Sheila? Go ahead, Sheila. Tina. Any questions? Whoever has a question, and then I'll call you, just say your name. I'm Cody. Hi, Cody. I'm Matthew. Matthew, hi Matthew. Lexi. Lexi, yes, Lexi. yes. Lexi, how did you buy that car? 
How do we? How much does it cost? Lots of money. Lots of money. This particular trailer cost sixty thousand dollars without the paint and without all the equipment inside. Yes. It's made out of. It's a very good question because this company is known for its lightweight manufacturing, less and the sturdiness. The name of the company that makes this trail is called Featherlight. And their name kind of like tells you what they do. They make the lightest weight trailers manufactured today. And this trailer is made in the state of Iowa. All the way in Iowa. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go up to the cab. So you see these smaller tires here. Now you can see the bigger tires. Well, in these big trucks, we have air bags. See these bags right here, like little balloons? They make the ride like a cushion, like when you jump on your bed. It's nice and soft. That's what happens when the truck hits a bump. It's a nice cushion, soft ride. This way it protects your cargo inside and nothing gets broken. So when you jump on a pillow, it's nice and soft, but if you jumped on the concrete, it would hurt, right? But when we, that's why we have all of these airbags on each, oh, on each set of tires. And this way when the tires hit a bump, these pillows, as I call them now, cushion that so the truck doesn't, you know, have a hard shock to it when we hit the bumps. Look how tall the tire is. It's almost as big as my Okay, so look how big that is for comparison's sake. Come on over. And your name is? Natasha, you stand here. This tire is just as tall as Natasha. Oh my goodness. Okay. We okay. did measuring ourselves. Too, right. So, so that's pretty cool, just in comparison. So when you go down the road and you say, Mommy, Daddy, look, see that tire? That tire is just as big as I am, believe it or not. Another advantage of this big trailer is the price of gas. I don't know if you ever hear your mom talk about the price of gas and how it's always going up. Well, the gas costs a dollar fifty a gallon for the trucks, and if we can put more cargo in it and use less gas, not only is it good for the environment and the economy, it's also good for keeping our costs down, and then we can pass the cost on to the customer and not charge as much. Okay, so these are all things you learn as you go further in school, and then inside, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I'm going to have someone stand here, uh, John, and it's going to, going to line up single file, and after I tell you about what's going on inside, the, I want you guys to be on the other side to catch you, and then you can come right back. Okay. We have a satellite antenna of the truck, and we can talk to our drivers, and we know exactly where they are, anywhere, anytime in the United States. Supposing they're driving down in Colorado, we hear that there's bad weather. We can tell them that, hey, uh, ahead of you, 50 miles, is bad snow. Stop where you are and relax. You don't have to go any further. And they get the message across the screen and then they can send message. So I'm gonna call the office right now and send us a message and then we can all type up a message and send it back to the office. How's that? So let me pull up the office right now and see if we can move up to the front and we'll show you what everything does inside the trail, okay? Who's first? Go all the way up front. Go all the way up front. Come on, you guys can climb up. What What do you notice? What do you notice about this trailer? How bright it is and it's like outside. And you know why that is? Because we have a ceiling. Sun can shine through. Okay, so this this is so odd. Can see their delivery labels and make sure to bring the right pieces of furniture to the right house. Guys, look at the numbers up top. Look, on the, look at the numbers up top. Anybody have an idea what those are for? Yes, Logan. Uh, maybe a measuring? Exactly. It's exactly what that is for. This means big feet. Measuring. We load a trailer. We cube out all the furniture. Like this could be cubes. So we add up so we add up the 40 to 45 cubes to the last number, and that's how we measure how much furniture we can put inside a trailer. Okay, we got everybody's shirts. And I want to slip these on. 
over our shirt so we can taste, take a nice picture, so we can have a nice picture to hang in class. It's been nice having you visit our truck today. It's been a pleasure for me. Can you give Stephen Dad a standing ovation? Wow, that Ooh. thumbs up. And I also have some pictures for you to take home of our trucks. Okay, and then you can show your mommies and daddies what you did today at uh, Okay, so I'm just going to hand these out. They're all the same size. Work. Go outside with John. Put on your shirts. We'll get a nice picture. Oop. Let's see where you go. All right. How about... Uh... Can you say thank you, Dean? Thank you, Dean! Thank you, guys. Have a nice day. We're the Call the Star class. And I'm here in K West. Okay. Actually, the middle school, I guess. The middle school. <laughs> we have um, 20, 25, 20, 25 children in our class. Okay. And we're just about ready to go to first grade. Okay, and what is this uh, program? Is it sharing, show and tell? This, we're doing a unit on transportation. <laughs> and we're looking at um, this is a marvelous opportunity to see what a truck looks like. We're talking about all the ways that we travel by truck, by car, boat, airplane. So this has been really very exciting and timely. We just started our transportation unit this morning. The transportation unit, the opening. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. All right.